So do we suddenly have lots of feedback and echo, or is it is it okay? All gone so now. For me. Excellent. Okay, I haven't changed any settings, but ah, I am peaking a bit though. So well, see maybe... a doctor if it stays like that after four hours. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to peak too early. Yeah, I'm not sure how to fix that. Oh well. Um, but yes, I'm recording, so we can always chop this bit off the beginning if we want to, but I might as well leave it going now that it's on. Um, and hopefully we will be joined by more friendly faces shortly, but since they're not all on, I I would have to line up all the video again otherwise. So it's I'm, my camera on, I can't tell. Uh, I can't see you at the moment, so no camera oh, by the look of it. Um... I yeah, just... whether we comment next to, if that's a good or a bad thing, we'll leave that up to your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just had a cunning plan. Well, it may not be that cunning, but it's it's moderately cunning. As cunning as a fox has just got a first degree uh, at Oxford in cunning? Yes, nearly as cunning as that. Um, I've just realised that there are going to be four of you, not five of you. Mm-hmm. Um, the green bot, I can make that disappear later on. So, hold on, let's see if I can line up these uh, video thingies. So, what I don't understand is... Oh, I didn't want to make it bigger. Uh, what I don't understand is why they don't always appear in the same place. If I could work it out, I would be very happy, but it is a bit of a pain one day so what was the techno th thingies you were trying to work out earlier on discord oh well um one of my wednesday people very kindly um decided to gift me a subscription to discord nitro um because it improves the audio quality and video quality on discord in theory so Are you I, recording? You recording other people's adventures now, or? Um, well, uh, I just we're just doing audio on Wednesdays. That is our Curse of Strahd game. Okay. And there we go. So we have that one. Yeah, you have to send us a link for that. Uh, oh, uh, oh, there's, oh, there's no no. Uh, well, what I mean is, we talk on Discord, but the so the audio sounded terrible. So we. Um, ah right. So we tried. Uh, well. We got the be the better Discord, and it makes the audio nicer. So, oh no, <laughs> it's bloody moved. <laughs> Hello, okay. Nate. Hey, Hiya. how's it going? So, do you know how to zoom in? Yeah, you mean closer. Thrilled with the full body. Let's see. Oh, just lean in. Yeah, that's a good strategy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how humans do the zo the zoom function. <laughs> there we go so it is it has rearranged you all and god knows what's going to happen when ryan joins us it's going to move them all around isn't it but mm -hmm. um fingers crossed uh fingers crossed i can somehow make this work because yeah, it's got um chris uh, uh, over mine and yeah i don't know how to there's I'm wondering whether we should try Zoom instead, but considering that I've just boosted uh, boosted the Discord channel, maybe I should leave it as it is. Well, just leave it as a portrait now, and then once um, Ryan joins us, at sort of at half-time or whatever, just do the jiggery pokery then. Yeah. I'm, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to move... There we go. I'm going to put that in there, and then I'm going to move the other one back again. There we go. Where's it gone? Camera rug. There it is. That's the carrot one. I'm going to put that in the Kevin box. And that... There we go. I've got two of you in the right place. Anyway. I I am racking my brains to come up with a way to not have to do all this stuff. So that we can just click and go. But I have not yet worked it out. The time will come. Eventually. Um... But um, let's let's make a start, shall we? And I can mess around with this later on. So 
and we'll see what happens when Ryan joins and, and all the cameras just switch places ma as if by as if by magic. I, what I want what I want to do is pin them in place, but I can point at them. Oh yeah, I can yeah I can just make them bigger. I can't and rearrange. I can't actually rearrange them, which would be lovely. So, uh, happy new year. Welcome to episode four of Into the Jaws of Death. Um, our brave party of adventurers known as the Crimson Dirks due to the red daggers they each carry are currently adventuring in the haunted lands of Pentagon ancestral home of Depthanor Pan Pentagon or deep to his friends um, our friend Kevin here who plays Char the Genasi is wonderfully coherent uh, when it comes to um, recaps so I'm going to see whether I can uh, impose upon him to do um, to do a recap for us. What, what, do you, what do you think, Chief? Okay, well, um, in the last session, we uh, left the uh, uh, shrine or temple um, that had those weird mechanical type creatures in. Um, as we travelled through the woods, we... Came, a, we saw a um, a, a woman, uh, maybe half elf, possibly drow, um, and she was accosted by a load of uh, mecha wolves. So we gave the big the big puppies a big hug and a cuddle and a scrunch, um, and then we used the opportunity to do a bit of experimenting, and we found that uh, lightning seems to have some good effects on those um, mechanical hearts that are in them. And uh, so we seem, we have finally found a weapon that we, we have in our repertoire that can work against them. Uh, just as we were doing this, and we was about to head to the next uh, town, uh, next village of um, Kostromar. Yeah, my, my notes even say that. Um, Excellent. A ever-popular door or a variation of appeared in the um, in the in the road a little bit half there as a weird kind of angle uh boring decided to stay back and look um, protect the female because he didn't want to be anywhere near to because he, he for some strange reason he just doesn't like her i don't know why she's lovely yeah i don't know what's wrong with him he's a yeah. grumpy devil <laughs> yeah i mean um yeah sort of his, she done anything to hurt Carrick? Well, there was really? the kiss was hurt you a little bit, but <laughs> I, I I managed that all right, I think. And then we ventured inside to find that her pocket plane had altered or uh, come into more focus in a way that um, what before seemed to be endless or vast is a lot smaller than we first thought. And we couldn't see any sign of um, of tear about. That is right, and that is pretty much brings us up to date, doesn't it? So I am very rapidly um, updating the player page, which I'm just going to move us on to quickly, so that the folks at home can see it. Here we have like a dashboard screen which co shows our current missions. Uh, one of which is to retake Mount Pentagon. Uh, one of which is to investigate uh, the next town along. Quest giver for that one being the young lady you just met. And then I've also put on there, I've taken the liberty of putting on there, investigate tears assimilation. So uh, you were at uh, tears interdimensional space, gazing into the void and wondering why she uh, had not spoken to you. Uh, or would not or could not speak to you. Uh, who can say? But I'm just going to line that up a bit. There we go. And 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 there we are. We're in the room. Hmm. This is concerning that she's not present. This is if she sent the door to us. Maybe she's trying to get help. Yeah. Well, 
I mean, I commune with my deity and no help is forthcoming. Do you have any ideas on what we could do? Um, I'm going to... I don't think it's going to really help much, but I'm going to um, uh, use one of my cantrips to create fire in my hand, and I'm just going to try and throw it as far out as I can, almost as a bit of a a flare, just to see if it sheds any light on anything. Ah, so the the obeying laws similar to that of conventional space on occasion. Uh, mm -hmm. when, when when they're not uh, sorry uh, except when they're not um, the, the the little ball of fire leaves a, a, a small trail of flame as it shoots off um, and it looks like it could go on forever but um, it it kind of floats off for about 20 seconds and then it appears to um, just wink out as if it's kind of gone out of bounds mm -hmm. I didn't think it would do much, but I was uh, hope you know. You never know that just trying to shed some light a bit further might have revealed something. I really don't have many other options. Do you guys have anything? Not really. It's my um, realm of expertise, but I'm going to get my. Ice dagger out that she gave me. Uh, try and investigate that. See if that shed any light on where she might be. Um, it it seemed to be um, responding before, didn't it? It was uh, kind of behaving as if there was some tension on it. Uh, that hasn't changed. But um, what, what's your approach? What's your idea? I'm going to sort of hold it out and sort of move around in a circle. Almost like, you know, how you, you had those uh, guys that were water divining? Oh, Almost right. like that, but with the ice dagger to see if it's, it's stronger in any particular direction. Ah, oh, I'm going to kind of use it like a dowsing rod or something. That's um, it. Okay, so uh, the, the slight pull uh, seems to be, um, as far as this map is concerned... Um, to the north, but uh, I would not say I would not take that necessarily as a a firm compass point, um, as as there aren't any here. But you know, kind of upwards on the map, it sort of feels like it's pulling uh, that way. Okay. So we're going to walk up to the top of the map and. Use my perception. Can I perceive anything happening? Is there any? Well, you can certainly try. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll assist him in perceiving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a second. What do your elf eyes see? Um. So I'm guessing because I am sort of. Trying to look for something, sort of trying to be perceptive. Is that a dexterity thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the opposite of uh, what's the uh, what's the opposite of inspiration? <laughs> um, yeah, give us give us give us a perception check. I am not entirely sure how deep can assist you in looking through your own eyes, but. <laughs> <laughs> but we can we can we can give it a go. See what comes out. Okay. Yeah. So that would be a six. Uh, that was not with the advantage, my... though, was it? Um, no, and I've got passive perception as well. Of. Yeah, your passive perception oh. is likely to be much higher. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Well, I'm afraid that as, as sharp as your senses are, they are not supernatural, um, or telescopic, or you know, you you don't spot anything at the moment, shall we say? Have Have you got anything you can do deep? Uh now I already shot the wad I had. Um, so. Um. What was that again? What did you do? I cast. I oh. forget. Yep. 
I cast uh, divination. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. Um. <sighs> um. What about? Is 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 this? Could this be something just beyond our our normal vision? Um. Um, remember how my lord, the enemy of my lord, he tried to hide from us. Yes, and we used the lantern. Oh, yeah. Yeah, without the, uh, what's it called? The lantern of revealing. Oh, very good. (laughs) Well remembered. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click show to players so that this pops up on the screen. There we go. And then... There we go, the lantern of revealing. um, Reveals invisible objects. Which is sometimes a very useful thing to have. Aha, Uh, there's Beholder. (laughs) Um... Um... so, where are you pointing this uh, this magic uh, lantern of revealing? Um, well, I'll, Alan, actually, uh, Kararook, if you want to move the thing around with your mage hand, that might be helpful, but... Um, yep. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Cast mage hand, pick up the lantern. Um, I'm not sure how far I can push a mage hand out, actually. 30 foot. Cool. So I'm going to use that. Go 30 foot north with Mage Hand, holding a lantern, spin it around, and see what I can see. Ah, okay. So, dun, dun, dun. um, so you you're you say you're swinging it around. Oh, shall I shall I take you where your token is as a guide, that you're kind of yes, going um, this way? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So you um, you summon the mage hand with your mind and uh, use it to grip the um, use it to grip the lantern, holding the lantern far out, much further out than you could reach with your um, with your own hands. Um, it's it's an unusual effect uh, in this space because this space is. Um, kind of like a pocket dimension dressed up to look like um, like a, a bit of a chaotic space realm. Um, and so actually, rather than creating an area of light, the, the lantern creates an area of darkness because it is in fact revealing the native material of the area underneath it. So, um, so what you actually see is kind of um something like something like limbo you know almost like an empty an empty space with very little in it um and this this kind of dark uh 30 foot radius bubble moves out you can see your mage hand and the and the lantern within it but yes it sheds darkness instead of light or it appears to and as it swings around um eventually you see um, what appears to be, uh, is it shift or is it control? I think it's shift. Um, you see the form of Tia the succubus, although she does not appear entirely as she appears here. Um, and she is um, floating in the void. Uh, somewhat, uh, she looks like she is weakly struggling. Um while clockwork machine parts writhe all over her. Um, so it's kind of, I would say, a, like a steampunk version of um, the Borg assimilating you in Star Trek. So, so mm. rather than you know, high-tech parts attempting to uh, um, colonize her body, it appears to be things like cogwheels and and uh and steam valves and you know stuff like that so it looks a bit less low tech uh, sorry a bit uh, a bit less high tech um however 
I've just noticed that Ryan has joined us. Hello. So, hello. Happy yes. New Year. Um, did you catch any of that? I caught some of it, something floating in the air. It had some lamp thing on my screen. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, oh, cool. Okay. It's, so. it's the lovely tear we've uh, revealed um, in her dimension. Oh, okay. So I am going to very quickly um, line up your part of the screen, or at least I'm going to try to. And then, oh, that's amazing. Yours is almost in the right place. I've just realized it lines them up alphabetically. So if I was a bit more intelligent, I might have realized that. And, oh, okay. Uh, I'll grab my camera in a sec. Um, so. The image you've used for, uh, for Tia... Um, it's it's very very kind of cheesecake esque, yeah, sort of that nineteen fifties style, style in, in um, a little bit. It's kind, it it's kind it of is cool. a little bit, isn't it? Um, mm. I I wish I had um, I wish I had the artistic chops to have drawn it myself, but sadly not. It is just... <laughs> if you have, you're in the wrong job. I mean, that, that's a <laughs> that's a great image, but yeah. So I was just admiring the artwork while you're sorting that out. Yes, uh, they've got. I think that that colored bit there that is actually you so if i just move across a bit there you are okay. hello hello yes i am definitely I, I must find an easier way to do this i just haven't worked it out yet but i've watched lots and lots of youtube videos and none of them tell you of any way to make this any less painful um so if anyone at home knows any way to do this better then well if you when you watch this in ten years' time, then uh, you know it'll be far too late. <laughs> there we go. So I think I've got you all where you should be. So let's lock you all down. Hope that none of the cameras pop out. And I've accidentally—that's not the one. That's the one there. So Michael is not with us today. So I will leave his. It's just a picture of his character. Yes. So yes, you uh, used the. Uh, used the magic lantern to reveal the location of Tia. She is some... Uh, how far out is she? Um, she's probably only... A, she's probably less than 100 feet away. She's just, um, you know, she's just hidden by the... Um, the illusion of the pocket dimension until she was revealed by the right uh, until she was revealed by the lantern uh, right um deep if we try to bring her back here between you and I we could probably try and use the blessings of Talos to remove the that's mechanical curse offer, but uh, you might you might need to be ready to help her if 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 your patron allows it. Okay. So are you going yeah, to well, we'll have to see if the magic works? Mm -hmm. But we can give it a try. Okay. Um, has any has I've got an idea, but I need several lengths of rope. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I, I I've um, got some rope. Okay. Um if um Carrick, if if I enable you to be able to move over to there and uh, could you tie one end of these uh, this these lengths of rope round her, and we'll try and pull her back to where we are. Yeah, let's give that a try. Um, doesn't see how much rope we've got. It's about the 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 fifty foot lengths normally. Um, so I've um, got one of them. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I, Pontos, you've got a rope, haven't you? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Um sadly I I don't. Um So I only need a hundred foot. We've got fifty foot each, we should be alright. Okay. Um 
are we going to electrify her and get these things off her? Because I've got a scroll of lightning I can use. Well, um, I, I, can, <laughs> I, I can do it relatively easy, and it won't um, deplete my, uh, my strength reserves too much. Okay. Um, but, right, so uh, if Pontos and Deep, if you take one end of the rope... And then I'm going to cast Fly on Cow Rook, so you get the eruption of, of uh, f- uh, flaming wings out your back awesome. once more. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, hopefully you can tie a, a secure knot and we can try and pull her over to here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to get the Midge Hand to come back. I'm going to pick the lantern up with my hand. I'm going to keep the mage hand ready, and I'm going to use the mage hand to tie the knot around here because I don't want to touch her with all those cogs on her. Oh, very sensible. Okay, so this is this is not to scale, by the way, because obviously that's less than a hundred feet away. Um, Kararuk flies out on wings of fire. Um, careful not to singe the rope, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. And ties a rope onto Tear using using the mage hand, did you say? Yes, that's yep. correct. Okay. Um the rope is tied on. I'm going to okay. fly back and while I'm there I'm saying hold on Tear, we're just gonna pull you back and uh see what we can do. So I'm gonna come back with the rope. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's there. I'm say, right. Come on, lads. Okay. Pontus, we need a gun show. Do I need to uh, roll something for this? Roll for baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> yep, those those glistening pecs aren't going to oil themselves. <laughs> oh. Um. Right. Where's Where's your camera, Ryan? Are you Are you not showing us your face today? Oh, they're not. Come on. <gasps> Hang on. Camera unavailable. Hang on. Hmm. There we go. Aha. Here we come. There we go. Hello. (laughs) Uh, Oh, that's even better. There we go. Centered in the frame as well. Even better. What else can you ask for, really? Very good. Okay. So, uh... I assume you are hauling on the rope. Are you hauling on the rope? Yeah. Okay. So Tear begins to drift towards you. Um, there is not a lot of resistance. It's almost like, um, you know, pulling something through water. You know, there is a, a, a little bit of resistance, but not an enormous amount. Um, she begins to float closer to you. Um, and she sort of, you know, when she passes through the illusory wall of the of the pocket space, um, you can see her without magical means, and she is then uh, visible, you know, visible to the naked eye. Um, as she, as she comes closer, you notice that she is um, she's kind of struggling a bit, but she's she's probably not conscious, or at least not fully conscious. Um, she's just kind of um you know twitching a bit and you can hear these kind of uh machine sounds you know kind of um you know kind of uh things ratcheting and things making that noise like like those wind up toys that you pull back and they go you know across the table sort of thing there's not enough of my me to gesture so you probably didn't see me draw back the thing and then it go but uh, you probably get the idea. Okay, uh, deep. Uh, keep keep clear at the moment. Let's just get her on the on on the on this rock with us. Okay. Just... I'm going to pull my stagger out already, just in mm-hmm. case. Okay. So she is she is floating <laughs> above the rock on which you stand. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Well, being being wary. Um, I am going to approach and uh, use my shocking grasp to just try and start to 
burn away the the, the machine. I, I know this is gonna this is gonna hurt you a bit here, and I for that I apologise. Okay, so you try to give her the shocking grasp. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we'd better play the sound effect for that, considering that it is so awesome. Here we go. Clear. There we go. I love that sound effect. Very proud of that. Um, <laughs> um, you you reach out and mm -hmm. uh, give the shocking grasp to uh, to Tia and her her technologically. Um, uh, technologically invaded flesh and uh, it it appears to do some damage to the machinery but um, not a lot it seems to be um, uh, this this machine is thriving it is absolutely loving trying to uh, trying to assimilate her um, she <coughs> appears to be full of all sorts of uh, demonic energy which is allowing um, <clears throat> allowing this technology to exceed its normal uh, parameters. I was I was hoping we could be more delicate, but uh, we might have to do something a little bit stronger here. Uh, deep, can you try and pry this off her? Okay. Um. So I've got gloves on, for one, and uh, I'm going to get out the lightning rod and just sort of work it under a big chunk of machinery and try to, like, fling it out. Okay, so the, the, the touch of the lightning rod discharges electricity in similar style to the, um, uh, the shocking grasp. In fact, I think it's a bit more powerful than the Shocking Grasp, but I'm just going to remind myself how powerful it is. Uh, so the Lightning Rod is um, a souvenir from the previous campaign, isn't it? So let's... Yeah. I mean, at the moment, I do 2d8 um, damage with my Shocking Grasp. Oh, in fact, actually then, the um, uh, the... The lightning damage of the lightning rod is inferior to a shocking grasp. So, oh, what happened there? I hope I didn't just crash. Well, the there's box. one trick I can pull potentially, but I'll hold off for a minute here. Mm. I think I might have a trick as well. Mm. So. John, did my effort to sort of pull away part of the uh, um, stuff have any effect? Well, you did. You did manage um, to kind of hook the lightning rod under um, under something that it, there was a, a point of connection. You know, kind of here and here and here, and you managed to hook the lightning rod underneath and kind of pull. And that levered off. Uh, you get the feeling that if there was not any electricity involved, it probably wouldn't have happened. But because of the discharge of electricity, you managed to kind of pull out one um, uh, one cable, if you like. I'm trying to think what a ste the steampunk version of a cable is. Maybe it's just uh, pipe. A, a, a pipe. Yeah, some mm -hmm. sort of some sort of pipe. You managed to pull it loose, um, spilling some demon ick or onto the uh onto the floating island um but as as you um kind of you know pull back it gets pulled out from one end but as soon as you uh break contact with the lightning rod it kind of starts to try and climb back in again so um it doesn't it doesn't want to well, let go once, once it starts going back in again can i use my ice tag and try and freeze it by just jabbing it Oh, so that's that's interesting. Hmm. So circuitry becomes better when it's cold, doesn't it? But I don't think that would work for steampunk, would it? Because kind of uh, steam-powered stuff um, kind of thrives on um, being hot, I guess, considering that it actually needs to make steam. <clears throat> so, so the the cold. Um, 
the ice dagger uh, does does not seem to have very much effect less effect than the electric charged attacks that you have done so far okay so char i can cast lightning bolt and i think maybe Karak said he has a scroll of lightning <laughs> bolt do you think if like is there a way we could both cast lightning bolt and you could shocking grasp at the same time and is there any way that would kill the machinery but not leave tear a crispy critter? Well, I think how integrated this is, it's going to be very difficult to target one and not the other. But if we are quick and uh, either with some form of healing or divine grace, we might still be able to keep child uh keep um tear with us okay oh and also we have healing potions so since pontos mm. um doesn't have a lightning source he could hold a healing potion and once we're done you know pour that down her gullet yeah i can do that okay Okay, well, it sounds like we have a plan. Uh, it's either going to kill her or cure her. Or I'll drop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Tear, for what you're about to go through, but... Uh, okay. Yeah. I would say be ready for a battle if this works. Oh, on the count of three. One, two, three. And we just hit her with everything we've got. Okay, so... so um, before we do that... <laughs> I was going to say, where are you, where are you standing? Lit. And what direction are you pointing your lightning uh, your lightning bolts in? So I've got a scroll of lightning arrow. Oh, lightning but arrow, so you my... have a lightning bolt. Okay. It's in my item back, but... I... Don't have it as a actionable item. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, lightning arrow. Let's transfer that as a spell onto your character sheet, and then um, you will be able to bring it up. I have not written a power card for it. Um, let's see. I've also got too much weight by the look of it as well. You got what, sorry? Too much weight. I mean, I wasn't going to say... Not me, but... my character. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There we go, Lightning Arrow. That is a level 3 spell. Um, let's pop that in the chat. So, uh, next time you make a ranged weapon attack, uh, transforms into a bolt of lightning, 48 lightning damage on a hit, or half as much on a miss. So, oh, that's pretty cool. I, I'd, I'd stay well back as well. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got to, uh, my attack is a uh, range touch. I'm going to get a little bit of the wiggly dance. <laughs> Happy days. Remember all those uh, fire bolts that you've dropped on us? One. I remember them. One. <laughs> oh, no good deed remember, goes unpunished. You, you, remember you must... last... Remember last session where I was able to carefully position a, a fire um, fireball to avoid all of you? No. Oh, oh, that bit gets forgotten. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, yeah. Uh, I remember getting hit. It was twice, actually. I think. I can only remember the once. Uh, so let's. Happy uh, days. If if you are uh, lightning arrow, lightning bolting, and. Uh, Tra what's the word? Grasp. Shock and grasping. Um, let's have um, obviously tear. It's an air. Uh, lightning bolt is an area of effect attack, isn't it? It goes in a straight line. Um, yeah, straight five foot so, line. So she is not going to get a save against that because she is immobile. So you can just roll some lightning bolt damage, please, which I think is eight d eight, but I'm not certain. Um, that was about right. I'm just going to check that. 
it's basically the the linear version of a fireball, isn't it? So mm. it's um eight oh it's eight d six actually. It's a little bit less damage, but that's fine. Um, so we'll have eight d six damage from you. Twenty five. Good start. So um, char rolls two d eight. I tell you what though. <laughs> Um, um, you yours is a melee attack mm -hmm. against uh, an incapacitated target, which would be an automatic crit, crit. on a hit. Mm -hmm. So roll to hit with advantage. If you hit, then you can roll another. Well, if if you hit, you can roll another two d eight. If you okay. if you and, miss, uh, then uh, then you don't do any damage at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, uh, there is. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, what worry about that? What worry about that? Da, 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 da. With advantage. There we go. Did, was that was that two D eight or or is it? That was that's two D eight. That's two D eight there. So we have a total of four D eights worth of. Lightning damage. Four D eight, and I get nine. Get I nine. don't even get double figures on four D eight. Ah. So our running total for lightning damage is 34. 34. Okay. So it's all down to carry rook. What? How much damage does this do? If so, you. So you have to uh, do a long ball. Yeah, attack. you you can attack. Uh, yeah, if you miss, it will still do some lightning damage. Um, you can attack with advantage because it's an incapacitated target. I think. Uh, cool. So I get sneak attack as well then. <laughs> well, s sneak attack will not be in the form of lightning damage. So, um, so you could, but yeah, that, that's not then. We're just going for lightning. Cool. Boom, 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 boom. As long as I get a hit. There we go. So, so you hit her with the arrow. Which means that she so takes forty-eight points yeah. of uh, lightning damage. Let's see if you can get into double figures. And twenty-five. So we've got fifty, fifty-nine <laughs> points of damage. So that right. is uh, that is pretty good. Um, you have done significant damage to the uh, to the technology infesting the creature um, <laughs> and the threshold was 60 well you see a, a, a kind of more benevolent DM might have said it at 60 <laughs> um, so you have you have most certainly done quite a lot of damage to the technology there um, so let's see is is it enough that is the question um i would say that uh she begins to regain consciousness she is not completely free of it but she you have um you have take you've you know broken um nearly 60 percent of it so you know it is um pretty smashed up why does that keep popping up there that's weird i don't know why that keeps happening i keep thinking it's the sandbox crashing but apparently not. Anyway. So <sighs> she begins to regain consciousness. Um, while while she was hit, she was kind of um, writhing and shaking about. And uh, writhing is probably the wrong word. That has connotations. Um, it's a succubus. It's the right word. It's probably the right word, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's, prob she's probably finding a way whilst being nearly fatally electrocuted by a lightning bolt to make it look sexy. So... You know that 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 is uh, the prerogative of a succubus, um, but shedding uh, shedding electronic uh, machine parts, and um, she begins to come around. She ha she looks a little bit um, a little bit charred. There's some kind of burn marks on on her. There's a big burn mark on her face, and she kind of um, begins to have some clarity. She looks at you. And <laughs> charred, yep, she has been charred. There's a big black handprint um, in a suspicious part of her body where, <laughs> yeah, um, smoking, <laughs> yeah. So you have zapped her and damaged the machinery. She begins to come around. She says, oh, 
Oh, what's going on? Um, oh, what what have you done to me? <sighs> we we are we're trying to remove this strange mechanical curse off you, uh, for lack of a better word. Oh yes, well you 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 seem to have done it some harm. Um, it was. Um, not only invading my flesh, but trying to take over my mind as well. But I feel, uh, I feel like that um, helpful slap around the face you just gave me, Char, um, may have helped me like there. The face. <laughs> um, she she kind of um, touches her face a little bit gingerly, um, and um, uh, she says, "I I, I think, um, I think." I can fight it off now. I'm not sure if I'll be able to entirely remove it, but I feel like it um, it will no longer be able to take over my mind because you have um, kind of beaten it back somewhat. Um, well, uh, are, you, are you sure I can continue uh, trying to purge this off you if if, if need be? Um, let me think about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um have you ever tried to stand still while, uh, volu- while and, and voluntarily let someone shock you? Only a couple of times. Um, I, I am an electrician, so... <laughs> <laughs> Any electrician that says they've never been zapped is lying. <laughs> yeah, but, but do they do it deliberately? There are, there are <laughs> pranks. Not necessarily lethal voltages, but there are pranks. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, she she is prepared to let you try. Mm-hmm. It, won't, it won't be a crit now, obviously. Uh, well, if she's not trying to get out of the way... Um, it's up to you. You know... And I'll try to double team this with Char, where when he does a shocking grasp, I'll stick her with my taser. <laughs> so wrong. Phrasing. Phrasing, Ryan. So wrong. <laughs> there was so much wrong in that one sentence. <laughs> yeah, I think as, as, as soon as you said double team, I was like, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, let's just see if I can uh, zap her once more. Um, yeah. And just cattle prod her. Uh, no, that's a miss. Just trying to cattle prod her with my uh, um, mage staff, and she doesn't really want to. She she dodges. Yeah, she she's sort of like, oh, I I I, I don't think I can let you do it. I think. I think it's involuntary. I think I'm going to... And then as she backs away from your electric slap, <laughs> uh, Deep sticks her with the, uh, with the lightning rod, which, which hits her for full, for full lightning. Um, and yet more, of the, um, yet more of the stuff is destroyed. So she's like, ow, ow, oh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not that bad, is it? Does it look really awful? Um, it's more tr- um, prevented it from returning. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was thinking I might go back to the abyss for a bit and, you know, bathe in the infernal energies and see whether that restores me at all. Um, there's, a, there's only a small chance that we'll accidentally mechanise the entire abyss. Um, uh, from what we've heard, there are... Uh, where, where, where you found us in... The material realm there was there are multiple uh cases of these creatures patrolling the um the woods um so i would be wary if you were to bring this effect to your home realm Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just stay here and rest for a bit. Um, yeah. The only thing we have found that can stop it is through the power, the power of uh, Talos, and um, he's 
um, that seems to affect this. Mm. I'm not sure if Talos would like me very much. Um, well, I think his um, means of reaching out to most people is not the kindest of touches. Would it, would it be lightning-based? Yep. Ah. T Talos is the god of lightning. Okay. Yes, yes, I can imagine that. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, I'll I'll take a rest here for a bit, and and uh, and well, may, maybe an electric cuddle is what I need. Um, hmm. So, let's see. What is there? Some, is there anything you would like to try before she uh, kicks you out? Um, uh, well, I mean, if she's okay with it, I could just keep tapping her with the rod. <laughs> I don't know where that was. No, I'm really having trouble navigating the language for this. It's, it's fine. <laughs> That's part of the fun, isn't it? <laughs> uh, welcome to the world of uh, double entendres. Right. Okay, well, I, I, um, I, the only thing I can think of is just one last, um, as a, f a farewell hug, and as I hug her, I just give her a, a one final uh, shock, and before I, I get go, go out, go out the door. But that's that's about it, really. Um, okay, all right then. Well, um, you can you can double team her again if you like. So both both give her a zap. <laughs> And um, I, I have well, a fairly well, specific well, number. Auto hit. Yeah, you can auto hit. Okay. Uh, auto hit. Auto crit. Okay. Hell yeah. Hooray. Awesome. That is 27. Okay. So, I mean, there's hardly, there's, there's hardly any, um, there's hardly any left. It's mostly gone. Mm -hmm. Um, she is looking very ropey, though. She's like, "Oh, oh, that was that was horrible." Okay, well, I will. I'm uh, just, I'm just trying to sit, uh, just uh, check my character sheet. That's probably the easier way. Um, I think I have got a a <laughs> healing potion. I was going to uh, give her. So, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, I'll give her one of my healing potions. Okay, she, so I'll, I'll do that one. She she sort of takes it off you and she says, "Oh, th thank you for that." Um, I'll I'll. Okay. Um, let's see. Is she going to drink it? So, let's see. N I I would say I'm going to make a note of this in my OneNote document. You see, I I want to change. I want to be an organised DM. That's what the notepad uh, notepads for during the game. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. So she gratefully accepts the healing potion from you. Um, I know what we have done to you wasn't particularly pleasant, uh, but I, hopefully this helps a little. I think it needed to be done. Thank you, Char. Um, There's still some on you, though. I think you guys should go again. Uh, no, she's healed a little bit. <laughs> Well, go she, on, finish your job. She she doesn't look particularly overjoyed by the prospect, but you you detect that she probably wouldn't be able to put up much of a fight. Huh. Go on. <laughs> maybe maybe we should let her rest. If she's gonna go visit Talos, she should be fine. Oh, she, not... she can't go and visit Talos. Not not on <laughs> not on her own um not on her own power anyway. <clears throat> God, I think yes. If if demons could go and visit the um uh, the celestial planes, then um yeah, the blood war would would be happening in a in a different place probably. Yeah, that, 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 there's a reason there's a blood war. Um, well, I think um, I, th I think uh, one one more should completely uh cure you i i know this isn't nice um but there is so so little left but this 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 stuff is persistent if we don't get it off you and oh, oh 
I, I, okay then, Char. I, I, I think I trust I, you. I, I, I think... really don't like doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, so she is now. <clears throat> um. Let's see. She is definitely out cold. She is. Um, She's she's lying flat on her back in a pile of broken machine parts. She does sort of possibly appear to be dead. Um, she does have a healing Deep. potion in her hand though. Yeah. Uh, Deep. Uh, can someone just um, can someone do something for her? Okay. Can I tell is she alive or dead? Well, we ain't got much long. Um, she okay. is she is on the brink. Well, I'm just trying. To... Uh, I'm, 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 uh, okay, that's good. There we go. Okay, so she she actually comes around, um, and she appears to be free of the machine menace. Uh, says oh i'm i think i'm cured i i don't seem to have any bits of machinery trying to crawl inside me which is an improvement for sure um but yes i am um quite badly wounded so i definitely need to rest but um shall we say <laughs> well I, I was going to say that I, I owe you a favour, but considering that it was probably the, your fault that this happened, I, I think that might cancel out. What do you think? Um, I, I, I think, uh, I think for now you are. You are as one. <laughs> okay, you know, Rook. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a kiss. How, how's that sound? No, I'll, I'll pass on that one. Thank you. If we need, you we, will give you a shout. And uh, but for now, I, I think uh, rest. But um, I, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, you said it was affecting your mind. Did did you get any kind of insight as to what this is? Any um, any kind of idea of what it's trying to do or or any kind of understanding or or was it still very muddled it's it's very interesting um terrifying really um mm. do you know much about the planes well i i know of the plane of fire obviously indeed well um i I'm going to explain this as simply as I can. Um, since you are from the material plane, most of you, you, you probably don't know much about the planes, but um, for every uh, for every type of person, um, there is uh, a place where they belong. Does that make sense? So... Um, uh, there's a place for good people and a place for uh, there, there are places for good people and there are places for lawful people and there are places for neutral people well um, they, they're all laid out like a, like a, uh, like the the rim of a big a big wheel something like that or maybe they're not sometimes they are sometimes they're not um, anyway I come from one of those places it's called the abyss but um, there is a plane um called mechanus and that plane is a neutral plane and everything there um is literally run like clockwork it is like a uh, a machine place and i think that whatever this is um somehow may relate to that plane it appears to have the energy of um, the energy of Mechanus, but it has been in some way corrupted because um, the, machinery, the machinery of Mechanus normally um, just maintains mecha Mechanus. It doesn't normally go anywhere else. It doesn't normally try and insinuate itself into other things. 
So um, I can't imagine why it's doing that, but I think that might be where it's from. Um, I didn't recognise it when I first saw it because, um, well, you don't normally see stuff like this away from where it comes from. I'm... I don't know of this plane you're referring to. I know of the Nine Hells because sometimes we have had visitors from the uh, to the plane of brass city of brass from there but this is oh hold on i think i might have told you the wrong alignment from mechanus <laughs> no it, it's it's lawful neutral yeah ah it's lawful and neutral yeah oh, yeah i, I just yeah. said neutral didn't i yes it is it's a lawful, lawful neutral lawful. plane yeah because chaotic neutral is limbo they're on the opposite sides on the wheel mm. <laughs> do they still use the wheel cosmology i'm probably I'm... yep Oh, good. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, uh, trust uh, the um, Faerun still uses the, uh, the the lovely wheel, and it's a, it's a great image to get your head around it. Um, mm. But yeah, I, I I know of the nine hells uh, from devils that come in from there, um, but I don't know of this mechanism you speak of. It's it's quite an interesting place, but it's. I've, I'm afraid I'm about to contra uh, contradict myself. Um, it's, it's, um, it's different, but it's kind of dull. No, not Do you a know lot anyone? happens there. <clears throat> Do you know anyone there that might be able to help us with this? Oh well, there aren't really. Um, the the inhabitants of Mechanus are called. Uh, uh, are called the Modrons. They are uh, a, a mechanical race of people. They um, uh, they sometimes leave Mechanus, but um, I don't know how you would find one to speak to one, really. Well, as we were saying, you you are you owe us one now. Um, oh so anyway, you can get in touch with one of them. <sighs> hmm. Well, uh, Carrick, I think. Before we thought. even ask Tia for, for that, she needs time to rest and recover. She has gone through quite an ordeal, and I think we've taken more than enough of the uh, the lady's time for now. Okay. Oh, that's very considerate, Char. I'll I tell you what, I'll I'll give it some thought, Carrie Rook, if I can. Yeah. Uh, if I can squeeze in a visit somehow, then, then, well, I'll I'll let you know. But for now, I think I, I just need to lie down in a, uh, well, here for a bit. Cool. We will uh, leave you to it then, dear. You. Okay. See you, you later. You know where we are. You know where we are. You, oh, you I, I always know where up. you are. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's important to keep track of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Um, she she sort of disappears. Um, she's still here, but she kind of disappears into the into the fabric of the place, um, almost like um, you know climbing under the bed covers sort of thing. You know, she's still here, but you can't you you, you sort of can't see her anymore. Um, so uh, a thing happens. What is that thing? Um, so the the interstellar space. Uh, begins to melt away and the stars and gas clouds and floating rocks all start to bleed together and before you know it you are standing back on the path where you were before so I am going to move you back to the wintry path that you were at before um, and there also are Borin and Fira who are sitting there having an awkward conversation um, <laughs> Um, mm. Sort of. So, uh, will your friends be long? Do you think? Oh, oh, I, I, I don't know how long they'll be. They, they, they do this sometimes. They just disappear, quite inconsiderate. Um, something like that. Um, <laughs> <sighs> well, Boren, you missed the chance to be a hero. 
I can't imagine what Michael would say to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, the fact of being a hero for, uh, to Tyr is probably the last thing on his, his on his list. But. Oh, did you did you kill her then? Is that why you're heroes? Did you did you smash her in the face with a big with a big mace or something? You know, like she deserves. Yeah. Technically, yes, yes, we did. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> oh, things are starting to things are starting to go the way I want them to. That's brilliant. And the end result is she is cured and is resting and will be back on her feet in no time. Oh no! <laughs> I think that's <laughs> something like that. Anyway, I will I will allow him to. <laughs> I will allow him to fold into the background now, yep. uh, in sullen silence, because you you did mm-hmm. not you did not kill a, a, a defenseless woman, even though she is a demon. Um, so, um, Chew Bacon is pleased to see you, and obviously uh, runs up to uh, uh, slobber all over Pontos. Yes. Um, okay. Well, before we uh, sort of uh, so. Uh, are we all fit and able to continue to Kostroma? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to be FK for 90 seconds. No worries. Okay. And no one's going to time him. Actually, but, but all. I'm going to quickly, whilst he's to spit, I'm going to go back and grab a drink. No worries. Tell you what, back shall, back. We, shall we take that as uh yeah to have a break. Any yep, no worries anything, so yeah perfect cool. okay right. catch you guys in a few in a minutes time all right yeah. cool i'm gonna have some more gin uh, that, that sounds like a good idea but oh mechanus oh that's a fun place yeah yeah Please. i thought i thought oh Steve have you Hunt, have mechanus, you have, gotta have, be done yeah oh yeah i i and it looks like everyone's back hooray hope it is Hey guys, Hello. Uh, back again. Hello. I'm just going to close the door. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> ah. ho. So, um, our party had just left the interdimensional space inhabited by, well, the pocket dimension inhabited by Tia. Succubus, and found yourselves back on the wintry path towards the town of Kostroma, or Kostromo, I can't remember what it is now. Um, what would you like to do? Oh, um, just getting a name, uh, where is it? Um, Hold on, I can put you back on the map, can't I? Uh, uh, f- uh, f- uh, Fyra, um, how far away is this uh, next village? Oh, I can tell you exactly by using the measuring tools, she says helpfully. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, It is about 20 feet away, she says. Um, So I think we will uh, probably say that it is miles rather than feet, as that would make more sense. Mm. Um, Okay. Let's uh, get moving, I guess. Let's start walking. Yeah, Yeah, well, um, as we we get... um, a little bit closer, probably about sort of ten ten miles or so away. Um, if we're just taking a, a brief water break, um, like uh, deep. Um, I think if you are the lord of this area, you should possibly um, look a little bit more dignified than just trudging into these places. Uh, let me help. And I'm going to ritually cast uh, Fine Steed, or Summon Steed, that I've got. Oh. Mm-hmm. And um, it basically it has um, horse stats, but I can make it look however I like. And um, I'll be its rider, So and Deep can just be the passenger. So it'll be a bit slowed down, but... These magical steeds can theoretically go a hundred miles an hour, um, in an hour. But it's ridiculous speed, so slowing it down is not a problem for everyone else. What's the okay. name of the spell? What have I just? Phantom, Phantom Steed. Sorry. Phantom Steed. Sorry, I was looking at Summon Steed. 
Phantom Steed. That sounds... Oh, sorry. Yeah, 10 mile an hour. It's 100 feet. It can move in, in a turn. Wow, pretty quick then. Mm-hmm. A large quasi reel. What does quasi reel mean? Horse like creature appears on the ground. There we go. Okay. Um, but as I create it, I'm going to make it look like a flail snail. So we. <laughs> we... <laughs> yeah. So Deep can sit on the top of the show as I, I'm driving it. So it, it, it's, it's never ending story racing snail time here, boys and girls. Cool. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'll sit atop the mm-hmm. shell and uh, use thaumaturgy to sort of look well quaffed and uh, ready to go. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and so I'll be sitting closer to Char than usual. Um, I want to sort of subtly say to him... I'm going to mention something I saw a while ago, which is that um, when Kararuk killed the dragon in the arena in the city of Brass, uh, his eyes turned black and his lips sort of curled in a supernatural way. And um, I'm just going to feel him out to see if he's seen anything like that as well. Hmm. Um, would I, uh, or would I have to take any tests there? Um, oh, God in the sky? Hmm. Let's see. I. It, it's one of those things where um, perhaps you didn't notice at the time, but having been prompted, perhaps you would recall it um, given a... So, what, uh, history? Uh, intelligence? It's it's uh, it's going to be intelligence or wisdom. I'm never quite sure uh, which, yep, is, which is... I'm not sure which is the right one for recalling a memory. Um, Can I hear this conversation? I don't know. What what are you doing? Because we've, we've probably got Pontos riding on the back of Chew Bacon. Char yeah. and Deep riding a snail. Um, Car- Racing Ca- snail. Yeah, Carrie Rook and Borin are probably engaged in some kind of badinage, as usual. Um, you know, one saying, ah, bloody elf, and the other one going, ah, bloody dwarf, and uh, and, and that, and the like. Um, okay, I don't have anything here about about how to recall a memory, so I think we are going to call that a uh, an intelligence check, maybe. Okay, intelligence. Uh, that's not my strongest, but we'll... Oh, uh, what have I done? <laughs> um, I, I've never... I haven't seen that from Carrick um, before, are you, are you sure what, you, what you're saying is true? Well, I mean, perhaps it could be something that just happens on the plane of fire. I very much doubt that the, the plane would have an, such an effect. It is a, it is a, it is a good place to be. Okay. Well, we could always tell him, but I've been worried this might uh, trigger something inside of him, and he'll go, uh, you know, he'll attack us. Do you think we should talk to him about it directly? Um, I think... Let us... Let us just observe, just in case you... It was a trick of the light or your imagination. Okay. I suppose that's possible. It is a rather vile place. Though some good people come out of it. I'll give it that. You are talking about my home here. I've, I... Well, yeah, I said there's, I, there's good I, apples in the bunch. I, I, I am still <laughs> getting used to the oddities of this plane, but I don't... I don't slate off everyone 
as a as a as a broad assumption. But we, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep an eye on him for now. Okay. So okay. yeah, you just you got yeah you're getting a nice little um, shall I view as you're you're travelling at the moment. Cool. Oh, I just realised I, I need to this... we need to put fear of among you as well, don't we? Mm-mm-mm. I love that the snail can go. What is it? A hundred feet per second. Feet a turn or ten mile an hour. Ever watch oh, Turbo? Wow. <laughs> well, like, like I said, it's, 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 a, it's a never-ending story racing snail, but um, in Phantom Steed, it only lasts an hour as a ritual cast, and you can make it look in uh, however you want, uh, just for appearance. Hmm. I was thinking, should I make it like a uh, a hellhound? Um... I want a hellhound pet. Yeah, that would have made you... Oh, cool. But I thought if I did that, it'd make you jealous if I could suddenly create one out of thin air and ride it. Mm. Yeah, I would not be happy. <laughs> but then Pontos might be his his war pig might get into a fight with it. Might bring back bad memories. Or ride the hellhound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, two baking riding a hellhound and two with me riding jaws of death. Yeah. <laughs> That, that'd just be weird. So <laughs> after this um, quiet aside between uh, between Char and Deep, uh, you eventually find yourselves on the outskirts of the town of Kostroma. Uh, Kostroma uh, was apparently uh, a, a thriving township upon a time, but it is currently almost in ruins by appearance. And you can't see any people. Oh dear. Uh, would you like to approach? There appears to be a town square of sorts, which would put you more or less in the middle of the settlement. Um, I'm going to approach stealthily. Okay. Give me a stealth roll, please. And we will see how stealthily you manage to approach. How far ahead of the rest of the entourage are you? Uh, are you travelling? Um, within viewing distance, I don't want to get out of sight. Okay, so I am going to Stuff. mess around with this map a little bit. Dun, 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 Sixteen. Okay. Ah, no. As as we get to the edge, uh, we'll both get off um, my snail and I'll dismiss it. Okay. Oh, I've got to make the snail disappear now. I'd put it on the map and everything. Okay. Yeah, the spell only lasts an hour anyway. This is true. Um, it, all for the appearance of turning up into town riding it. I was, yeah. trying, I was, I was trying to make deep look. I was cool. hoping we could speed around the battlefield. I don't want to get that close. <laughs> so, uh, this map. Hopefully, this will look nice. But mm. let's see. Yeah, it looks good so far. So a this, lot of. There's a lot of light walls because there's a mm. lot of ruined buildings. But I, I, I tried to set them up nicely. So hopefully, this will look okay. But yes, this is the. Um, apparently ruined town of Kostroma. You can see that there are roofs on some of the buildings, but some of the buildings have lost their roofs entirely. There are abandoned carts with goods rotting in the back of them. Um, and there is a well. Karirook, uh in the lead um, is perhaps um, inspecting the well when the rest of you arrive or something like that. What would, what would Karirook do in a place like this I'd definitely be scouting around stealthily, keeping to the shadows, seeing if there's any signs of life or anything that I can converse with. Okay, well... Or if there's any dangers. But I'm also letting the team know to keep boring quiet and stop them running in, shouting, Hey, here I am, let's go! Square go, everyone, bring it on! Oh, I'm, I'm sure you, he you, wouldn't do that. Yeah, uh, boring, you, you look after uh, Fyra for now. And stay back. <laughs> <laughs> um, she she flicks a look at you, 
as if to say, "Oh, how could you?" And then, <laughs> and then, and then pipes down. Um, so uh, she she looks around and says, "Oh, this the the place is even worse than than last I saw it. Um, uh, there must be survivors somewhere." But but look, all most of the buildings are ruined. Hmm. We'll walk over to the closest building after looking down the well and see if there's looking through windows and see if there's any doors that are sort of half open that I can look into and try and be stealthy and sneaky about it, I guess. Well, this one seems to be quite well... Uh, this this one seems to have walls most of the way around it, uh, as far as you can see at the moment. Um, if there are gaps in the light walls, you can pass through them. So... Well, just just as a precaution at the moment, I'm going to um, see in all of this. I'm just going to cast a uh, mage armor on myself, just oh, to very sensible. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure I'm feeling a little bit safer. Okay. All right. You should have a button for that. So, and that will amend your armor class accordingly. And there it is. <laughs> And it's still one shot because I've then got my uh, 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 stuff of protection. That is true. So I does will it, just does pop it that. not add that automatically? Because um, I thought well, wield, it, wielding it, it should actually give that to you, but uh, if it, it doesn't, that's fine. It, um, so my dexterity is plus two, so uh, we put it on fifteen. So that would that would be my base. So I'm just adding the. I just add an extra one for the. Uh... Okay, the major armor didn't seem to work because the major armor should. Mage Armour makes it 13 plus dex, so it should be 15 naturally, so then it goes to 16 um, with the with the um, glass stuff. Yeah. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. The problem is that the, the power card I have made gives you an armour class of um, 13 plus your dex. It doesn't take into account the armour mm -hmm. class bonus you get from the glass stuff, whereas when you were at your base armour class, it probably would have done... Because um, when we had it, yeah. when um, but yeah, it's uh, as long as your armor class is correct now. Yep, then, sixteen. Then that's good. Okay. Um, so where is what's everyone else doing? Kamarook is scouting between the buildings. Uh, there is an alleyway along here, um, full of detritus. Um, no signs of any living people at the moment, uh, or dead people either, for that matter. Um, this one here, you can. Uh, the roof is definitely damaged, but you can't see a way in from where you are. Yeah, I'm just. Marrying. Oh, I'm stopping there because I can. Oh, okay. You see through a gap in the wall. Let me see. I'm going to move the map up a little bit, so we can see that Kararuk, uh can see can see it through a gap in the wall. Um, you look through the wall. And standing inside a room, which is um, partly ruined by damp, because uh, obviously the roof has come off this building, and rain and snow have fallen directly into it. So all the bo all the boards are warped, and it's uh, a terrible mess. But you also see um, a a scary dude. Um, this this is uh, ba basically this looks like uh, the 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 greyish pallid flesh of a corpse, but um, covered in um, kind of uh, with a, with a, a kind of a metal uh, a metal headpiece with spikes on it. Um, he appears to be um, a bit like a zombie, but he is kind of a robot zombie. Um, he Let's see. Does he spot you? Is the question. Um, so, you got yourself a sixteen on the way into town, but I think maybe we'll have another one just to see. Um, Give me one second. All right, this one's going to be only. Yeah, Pontos. Where do you think that elf's gone? The useless elf. Yeah, he's just he just walked in there and it's, it's just left us standing <laughs> standing kicking our heels. It just disappeared. So 
Um, the the creature does not actually notice you. Um, so you obviously manage to stifle your surprise and not alert him to your presence. Cool. I'm going to sneak back down here, go and see my party of friends, and say, we're not alone. We've got some mechanoid zombies in these buildings. I reckon we should barricade them in and set the buildings on fire. We've seen that fire doesn't put the end to these devices. It'd be best. Yeah. It'd be better we deal with the host and then rid the device f from this plane once and for all. We, we just don't want some stray squirrel or something to get infected after. <laughs> um. So your house that seems to be able to um, hold a lot of things, could it hold these mechanical things? I prefer not to put those in my sanctuary. That is my last remaining tie to, to home. And I don't fully understand its connection to my to my my master okay I, I hope you understand I I just do not the thought of this spreading into the city of brass would be is 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 horrifying to me yeah but okay point I was trying to lead the way you're the muscle my friend You know what? As long as we're all grouped together like this, I'm going to cast Bless as a second level oh. spell. Hang on. Let me come back. <laughs> <laughs> Just back her off and then you do that without me. I only put it on Hugh Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Have just the four, the four party members who are totally. not hanging back. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So here it comes. When I find it, there it is. So, Bless for Char, Carry Rook, Deep, and Pontos. Come on, there we go. And you are all blessed. I'm going to cast Blur on myself as well. Say it again, sorry, casting. Go on, Blur. Oh, Blur. Blur, okay. Ah, yeah. oh, that. Is that a concentration spell? It is. So let's put some concentration minute. markers on you. Um, How long does Bless last, by the way? A while, isn't it? Uh, is it 10 minutes? Yeah, I think it's 10 rounds or 10 minutes, something like that. Well, the difference between those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it ten is, oh, it's, it's only one minute. Yeah, concentration up to one minute. So better get yourselves into yeah. a fight quick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, should I thermal purge to get these guys coming out to us? Well, that that would certainly entertain me. So <laughs> please oh, feel yeah. free. <laughs> oh God, he's he's pulling uh, pulling all the enemies in one go. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? Deep's going to do that. So I cast thermal purge, and I'll say, "Are hereby given notice to get out of these realms." So leave now or be forever damned. <laughs> I, 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 I think he's getting a little bit uh, above his station now he's back home. Uh, bloody dwarfs. They just can't be sneaky. They have to go charging in like a bill in a china shop. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at him stunned. That's why my initiative is so nice. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what did you do, man? <laughs> Yeah, we've all done that. We've all just turned around to look at him. Look at those initiative scores. It's just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what have you done? Or, or is it a case we've all looked in stunned silence as Deep just suddenly shouted Leroy Jenkins with his initiative 20? Very <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay, so the initiative order 
um, does not have very many things on it, as far as you guys can see. Mm. Um, but uh, we will bring things in as they become visible. But wait. So, uh, in 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 perfect. Um, yeah, it's absolutely perfect. The deep has rolled the highest initiative because uh, he's he's kind of taking charge here, isn't he? Which is cool. So, I guess I'll walk forward. I get slowed down because I have to walk through Chew Bacon, and already tore the dead. Okay, so any anything yeah, comes into view. Yep. Cool. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> So, dun, dun, dun. so the next thing to move is something that you can't currently see. So, hang, hang on for a sec while I move it invisibly. Uh, is it only one or is it multiple? Who knows? Who can tell? Oh, I can tell. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Going from initiative 20 down to 6, there could be a lot in between. <laughs> One, two, oh dear. four. So, charging. Well, not really charging, but coming out from. Uh, oh, hold on. I don't want to move now. What I'm going to do is move something until it becomes visible. There we go. Let's unbump it so that it appears on the map, and then, so from a ruined building slightly to the north of char um a mechanical a mechanically augmented corpse type creature rushes out he gets bonged by the um by the toll the dead which actually uh, does a fair bit of damage and then having been thus bonged he uh, comes to try and attack um, Char and Karirook. So he sees both of them. We are going to share the love around a little bit here, I think. So, uh, I am going to do one attack for Char. And ooh, okay, oh, that was heavier than expected. Okay, <laughs> ouch! And then one for Carry Rook. Oh, jeez! Some lucky rolls oh. there. <laughs> so you were taken by surprise, though. So you know these things do sometimes happen. Um, by the eternal flame, my goodness! <laughs> you ow! He, he has kind of like piston arms that kind of just go. <laughs> um, so he has been thoroughly augmented by um, the technology that inhabits his body. Um, he... I'm not on the turn order yet either. You're not on the turn order? Well, well, why on earth not? Uh, what did you roll for your initiative? I got a six. You got a six? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's add you in. Uh, where are you? Where are you? I've got a zero on the map. Yeah, when when you get added manually, it gives you a zero, and then we give you a score. And there we go. So we have done that one. And now, rather annoyingly, the turn order has moved on. So I'm going to start from the beginning. I wish there was a way, if you're listening, roll 20, which of course you're not. But if you were, can you please give us a way to make the return order go backwards as well as forwards? Because that would be really helpful. Because I keep accidentally skipping forwards one. And I would really like to be able to go back one instead of having to cycle all the way through. Thank you. Um, that, that seems like an obvious advancement to me, but apparently not to them. Um, so, uh, another creature appears at the other end of the square. Then, they don't move very fast. They seem to be quite heavy. Um, they certainly don't move any faster than normal human zombies. Yeah, I noticed. Um, it's just the first one you encountered happened to be a bit closer by to you than you probably expected. Um, 
So this one. I blame our scout. <laughs> I didn't shout come and get us boys yeah neither did I <laughs> then we have ok I don't think you can see that so I am not going to reveal it then we have another one which likewise I do not think you can see then we have this one here. One, two, three, four. That is now visible. Then we have this one here, which is one, two, three, bump, four. There we go. So you might not be able to see them on. Ah, right, okay. So. The light distance prevents you from seeing it, but it would, it will, uh, it will be visible to you soon. I'm going to move on to Carry Rook. So, what's the plan, my man? Um, obviously, after getting bashed in the head by some crazy metal piston thing, I, I'm not taking too kindly to that. So, I'm going to attack this chap um, with my ice dagger. Uh, bless his yards. Um, I'm going to ask, do I get advantage of sneak attack? Oh, you would not be a rogue if you didn't ask. Um, let me see. So, because because you're arm engaging it, you do get your sneak attack. Yeah, you get sneak at attack. Least. Yeah, sneak attack. Yes, advantage. No. Fire beast. Boom! 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 Oh wow! He's yeah. impressive. My, my, my dagger went straight through his mechanical head. Then I wiggled it around a little bit just to make sure before I pulled it out. Didn't do a lot of cold damage though. Blimey though! Wow. Okay. That's that's old sneak attack, that isn't it? That's pretty. Cool. How did you get eleven damage from? It's a dagger. That must have been maximum my... damage. Yeah, so that was oh yeah, D four plus five plus two. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Okay, there was I thinking this would be a tough fight. Okay, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sneak attack, isn't it? I got a five, four, and two sixes. Yeah, uh, yeah that was that was pretty. That was pretty good. So you have had your vengeance against the. Uh, uh, the mecha zombie that came to attack you. Um, and we are now on to Char. Okay. Um, I've got... Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to do five, ten. I'm just trying to sort of look, see if I can see any targets before I have to do a strategic withdrawal. Um, hey, uh, 15. Still can't see anything. 20, 25, 30. And I'm just going to uh, ready an Eldritch uh, Blast uh, for the first target I see that comes round. Okay, first new target is that, because there are a couple of targets down here. Um, oh, I did... Oh. I, I didn't see those. Uh, okay, that's fair enough, because that's why I was exploring. Uh, in that case, yeah, I will turn around and um, blast these. Um, I thought that we were at the bottom of the map, um, so I... Um, da -da -da, so, yeah, uh, just shout out, there's the... the um, uh, no, no gain, don't attack, and the first one can burn. And then I'll give him a second uh, just to just to try soften and, him up a bit. Well, hopefully, do more than just soften, but we can only hope. Mm. Oh. Good. Yeah, that's a uh, nice bit of damage. And just point down, go. There's some coming from the south. 
and that's about all I can do. Cool. Okay, on to Pontos. All right, me and Chewbacca are going to charge down. Um... Wait, can I do the hoofs with me on the back? Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, I don't see any reason why not. So. Oh wait, I can trample in charge because that was from here, wasn't it? Yeah, I think you. Is it twenty feet you need for a trampling charge? And I think. I think you, so. Yeah, you've done. You should have done that. So yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, so yeah, give us the hoof attack. Uh, ten. Okay, ten is a miss. I'm afraid. Boo. Okay, then I will use my great axe to him. And this is why you should have blessed the pig. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay. There we go. Oh, nice, oh, well done. Two down already. Um Yeah, I think that's it. Very well. Okay. On to this one here, who is not currently visible to anybody, um, but might be now. Uh, if not hidden by the turn order thing, so I'm going to bump him. Then on to this one here, who became visible uh, when... Uh, oh yeah, Kararuk went and found him, that's why we can see him. So he is going to, obviously, uh, come running out. There we go. You can hear his pistons firing as he marches around the corner looking for trouble. Then we are on to uh, something else. Okay, so something comes out there. You can't see it yet until I hit bump. There we go. So there are now two more in front of Karirook, not Karirook, Pontos. In this alleyway here, we are all the way back around to deep. Let's see. I guess I'll walk to here and then toll the dead, the one to the north. Uh, that's it for me. Cool. Oh, another nine. Okay, next Vun. So that is this one here. He's already down, so I'm going to take him off the turn order. Uh, and wouldn't it just happen to be the one that is the furthest away, but he is going to make his way towards you. And then... That one there, he is also dead. So we have this one here who is probably about to become visible. Then we have this one here. Who is probably still hidden from view. Then on to this one. So, this mecha zombie here marches forward. Um, standing next to Chew Bacon and Pontos. He is going to share his love around like you do. You know what? There's something I forgot to do. Ah! Typical. I'm not going to retcon it. I will just do it next time. So, here comes one. Oh, that's a miss on Pontos. And then... We're going to have the same thing for the pig. <laughs> yeah, it is impossible not to hit the pig, I've discovered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Has True Bacon actually got any armour? Yeah. Yeah, he's got like spiked barding or something. It was quite expensive, wasn't it? It was very um, expensive. Armour 16 oh, is as good as mine. Okay. On to camera rook. Okay. Um, what can I see? The only one I can see is one down by Pontos and Chip. 
speaking, so I'm going to run 5, 10, 30, and attack this chap. Cool. Sneak attack, yes. Uh, advantage, no. Oh. You're, you're pre getting my questions. How do you know I was going to answer that? Oh, psychic. <laughs> after after 40 se 44 sessions, including today, you kind of pick up the hint. <laughs> <laughs> Standard attack of hand no fire base no sneak attack yes. boom 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 Oh that dagger what was that? That was twenty. Oof. Very nice. That was pretty cool. Uh, awesome. any, anything else from Cavarook? Yeah, then using my Cunning action. I'm going to go over the air and hide behind Chew Beacon. Mm. I'm going to hide. So, cunning action, disengage. Uh, move yep. behind Chew Bacon. That doesn't leave you uh, an action left to hide with, but at least it gets you out of melee. So, okay, on to Mr. Char. I like respect, so I'll go 10 foot there. And I'll just try and um, once more try and uh, save Pontos. Yeah, he's he's so vulnerable, isn't he? He, he needs a lot mm. of help. <laughs> save the pig. Uh, we won't we won't burn this one. Oh, nice. Okay, the thing nice. I forgot to do before, which I'm going to do now, is. Uh, Undead Fortitude. So, he does not get up, he stays dead. Okay. So, yeah, that that um, blast of uh, of magical energy just slammed him against the far wall and he just slumped down. Um, so, 10. I can see this one here, but there's too much bacon in the way, really, to get a decent line. So, 10, 15, 20, 25... Yeah, I can't really see that one, so uh, 10, 20, um, 30. Can I see anyone? No, I can't. So my second shot, unfortunately, is going to be wasted for now. Um, you. Let's see, I'm going to... It may not be that visible to you, but there is actually a guy just beyond the well. Oh, uh, oh okay, yeah. That should um, be the, within your dark vision. Range, yes, I, so I can just about... Uh, it's now, a bit since dim. You, yeah, now you've brought it to my attention. Yeah, I can. When it's right on the edge of your uh, vision, it just goes so dim, it's, it's kind of hard to see. It's, it's, but, at, um, it's atmospheric, isn't it? But a little bit, a little yeah. bit difficult functionally. No, but at the same point, it's cool, but I did save my genie's wrath, so I will burn this one, hopefully. Nice. Yeah. And more importantly, no fumbles. And more importantly, he's <laughs> now wounded for deep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. so much jinx there, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's going to be five fumbles in a row now. You, you'll see. Um, okay, Pontos. This weekend, my my group, the halfling, managed to roll two ones um, with his halfling uh, luck. It was a beautiful moment. <laughs> oh, it's a miss. He, it's because he's trying to manoeuvre between those two buildings. It's quite tight. Oh, nice. That was easy. All right. I've got a little bit of movement, so I'm just going to sidestep. So I'm not like blocking up the whole door. Okay. So what have we got? Next fella here. Begins the inexorable march towards deep. Then this one here, likewise. Well, he actually succeeds in his inexorable march towards deep. And he does a thing because it is his turn. 
and actually this guy did the same thing. So you hear the sound of uh, machines doing a thing and it looks like the damage on these creatures is actually repairing itself as they wobble towards you. Uh, this yeah, one here, here is going to try and slam deep once. Oh, oh. So that's that's one hit. He penetrated the the uh, the armor of deep, and here comes one. round two. Okay, Whoa. one one hit, one miss. Okay, so the concentration. What do I roll for that? Ah, that is based on the damage, so it will be. Constitution ten. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the it's the it's the damage taken or um or ten, whichever is the highest, isn't it? So uh, half half damage or ten. Half, oh, half. half damage. Okay. If, if it's half damage. if it's half damage, then it's a pass, isn't it? Oh. No, it's it's half damage or ten, whichever is the oh, whichever uh, is highest, and yeah. So it's a fail. Okay. Yeah, that's going to bless. Uh, so bless is cancelled. There we go. Then let's take off that concentration marker just to just so we don't worry wonder what you were concentrating on. Next we have this one here who is standing opposite Pontos clinging to his mechanical unlife with great difficulty he is going to smack pontos once uh, and then he is going to <laughs> get off get off <laughs> and then he is going to try and smack pontos again for for trying to get on him oh Oh, he's, he was struggling there. He's doing his best. Okay, on to deep. Let's see. Do I need to reposition the map at all? Let's reposition the map a little bit. We'll bring it down. Try and make... Oh, Pontos and... Uh, Chew Bacon are not visible, which means... We need to do... That. I don't know why that is. Is, is that your fl uh, invisible floating eye? Yeah, okay. yeah. There we go. Whoa. And then I need to. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> so why? Sorry, was, if I was, was messing around there. Sorry if I was supposed to wait, but don't worry, not much happened. I whiffed hard, and I'm in the mail. Cool. All right, excellent job. I yeah, I just suddenly realised that we couldn't see we couldn't see Pontos on the map, but we can see him now. So the lightning rod missed, and the mighty mayonnaise is with us. Um, the mighty mayonnaise doesn't get to attack on the same turn it's summoned, does it? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Cool. Uh, very good. Okay, a, another mecha zombie staggers towards you. And another mecha zombie staggers towards you. You can see a few of them on the other side of the well. Oh, wow. Where are they? Hey, you've got a fireball. Uh, unfortunately, um, casting the fireball against the dogs and the flying in um, tears plane uh, used up both my spell ah, slots. Shit. Um, I do have a. I, I do have an option. Don't fret. I have an option, and it's. Going to make uh, John have a little bit of a headache, but we uh -oh. can. I can do something. Oh, what's this talk of giving the DM a headache? Okay, uh, we are round two, Carry Rook. So suddenly, this is quite a target-rich environment. So I, I, I'm looking now, and I can see Pontos and his oiled pecs taking on this mecha zombie. I look up and I see Deep again, surrounded. And I'm thinking, ah. Oh. Fine, I'm going to run up. Where's my rudder? Yep, I can get there, which is 24, but that's going down. So. Where are you trying to get? I'm going to go up. 
Ja. Okay. Because yep. you were you were here, weren't you? Because you you're a wood elf, so you can go thirty-five no. feet, can't you? I can indeed. So you could actually go all the way into flanking position. But does it not count with the meal? But you get advantage if you flank. Yeah, but I'm not flanking with the meal because I'm directly opposite. Be Mayo, oh no, the, the, the Mayo does not have uh, a sufficiently uh, dense physical presence enough oh, to okay. um, uh, to allow you to flank. Uh, all right, then I'll, I'll move so I am flanking. And then, and then in turn. answer to your question that you haven't asked, <laughs> uh, you most certainly do have both advantage and sneak attack. Awesome, been all blessed. No bless. Bless is gone. Okay. Blessings are cancelled. Okay. Uh, Advantage. Yeah. Sneak the best you can do at the moment is thoughts and prayers. <laughs> hey, we you supposed to stop mass shootings all the time in the US, though? He's dead. He's dead? Oh, no. Okay. Nice. There's probably not much point me doing Undead Fortitude, is there? Because you just did 20, 38 points of damage. I don't think there's any way that it is even possible. But if he crits it, then I might let him have it. No. So his head came flying off that time. Yeah, 17 versus <laughs> DC 43. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Um, yeah, very much. It so. just exploded in a shower of particles of ice. There's nothing left. Yeah, I yeah. just wink it deep and say, "That's how you do it, my friends." <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. On to Char. Okay, um, you see me um, grab a hold of my uh, fire staff. Or Staff of Flame, or whatever it is called. I'd forgotten mm -hmm. all about that. Yep. As is, as is what, that's I, what I normally do. I sweep it across, and I'm going to take four charges out of it mm. and cast Wall of Fire. Okay. Right. Wall of Fire. I think mm -hmm. I have I think I think a uh, token for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to very quickly look it up. Uh, unless, mm -hmm. unless you have the ability to drop it in the chat, uh, I, I don't. I have it on my uh, phone in front of me. Ah, right here we go. Range 120 feet. Target a solid surface within range. You create a wall of fire on a solid surface within range. You, you can, can make, make the wall up, up to 60, 60 foot feet long. long, 20 feet high, and one foot thick, or a ringed wall up to 20 feet in diameter, 20 feet high, and one foot thick. That's very complicated. Um, this wall is opaque and lasts for the duration. When the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity saving throw. What? What? <laughs> Stop it. Sorry. So I'm just trying to make things disappear. <laughs> Why are you trying to make things disappear? Because <laughs> they are, oh, they have, you see, you, yes, you sent yeah. a secret message. Um, yeah, so I'll just go blah, 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 blah. People still see it, at least. <laughs> well, you see, okay. we, 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 it only people would only be able to see it if they look at it on uh, on on my Discord screen. I'm sure nobody's mm -hmm. looking at that. No, because I'm uh, I'm actually trying to look at this do this spell. So basically, <laughs> I've got a sixty foot line, sixty foot long line. I can drop down. Um, if if it goes across a creature, they have to make a deck saving throw or take five d eight fire damage or half much on a success. Yep. And then I can select one side of the fire of the wall to be hot, the other side not. If anyone goes either next to the hot side or passes through the wall, they have to take another test or take damage. Right. Oh, the... you level eight characters with your magic toys. Um, we we you got this one randomly, didn't you? That would teach yep. me. That I'm, I'm. You see, I'm reaping what I sow here. If I'm if I'm too lazy to think of specific magic items, 
then I will okay. suffer the consequences. Yes. So, uh, so I'd be looking at a... Uh, come on. Right. Da -da. Oh. Can, you guess, can you guess what it is yet? Da -da -da. Oh. You know what? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Spell templates. Fire templates. 60 foot wall of fire. Okay, if you've got something like that. There we go. So... Cool. That's, that's better than what I had. It's probably yeah. too wide, so we might have to make it a bit slimmer. Okay. Oh, don't place it over me. Don't give them ideas. There we go. <laughs> right there. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. No, we, we don't want to burn friendly characters, so so there, yeah, right? Yeah, not, not on the zombie, yeah. <laughs> not, um, not on top of deep, but right, you know, there we go. Can, can, I, can I have control, Thanks. please, sir? Yes, I will give you control of that, uh, if I can work out how. Uh, control by, there we go. Uh, no, not for deep. That is for char. Save settings. So you should now be able to move that at will. Mm -hmm. okay, come on. I can't seem to move it any further down. But, uh, um, there, it might be to do with light walls. You want, move, you want to move it down? Like, I was just uh, saying, like that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. So you are so basically least... cutting the street off. Mm hmm. So okay. I. Oh, well, fuck it. We might as well burn the first one at least. <laughs> oh, no. My beautiful zombies. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just as I've swung this stuff around, you just see this almost f trailing it in a, this line igniting uh, just along this um, square in front of you. So he has to take a um, a dexterity uh, save, um, and my DC now is what is it? Scroll. It's DC fifteen. Okay, so he's going to take a save. Dexterity save. Uh, Ten. He fails. So uh, he can have. 5d8 points of damage then. Give us a roll. Mm -hmm. And we will... Four ones! <laughs> oh, boy. So the... Uh... Well, well, fuck. It looks <laughs> impressive. You're not sure if it is the uh, the sound of his, his gears kind of clicking or whether he's laughing, but... Um... <laughs> I am also actually going to make this um, bar of fire create some light as well. So, because it is, after all, a bloody massive wall of fire. So, let's give Surprisingly, it... on the zombie side, will be the hot side. So, yes. anyone that ends up within 10 foot of that will also have to take tests at the end of their turn. I think it's the end of their turn. Uh, 30, 30, or a bit more than that. I think I think 30 feet bright and 30 foot dim is probably enough. There we go. Each so, creature ends its turn within five foot, uh, or inside has to take the, the um, save as well. Right. Uh, each creature within five feet and within. Okay. So this one here that's on it could then walk through it, and if it, if it wasn't standing next to it, he'd be all right, basically. Uh, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's it's more the others oh. now. If they if they get close, they will start uh, cooking before they walk through as well. Okay. No problem. So. Uh... There you go. I've bought you some time. Very good. Okay, let's move on to our friend Pontos, who is alone in an alleyway with a zombie that will not die. Chew bacon's probably going to miss. It's a hit. I hit them. Okay, we are going to do undead fortitude of thirteen. Uh, he fails. He dead. Oh, okay. So, awesome. so zombie down. So that means that Pontos still has his actions. So, um, I don't see any more zombies. Maybe I'll go this way. One, two, three. Oh. Ah, okay. Four, five, 
six. Is that all right? That's six, technically. Um, or have I done it he... too much? Uh, was... two, two Bacon has a movement of 60 feet, so he can go bloody miles. Yeah, um, I was here. Um, so it'd be one, he was, two. He was, he was up there, wasn't he? So what, so oh, 60 yeah. feet, that's, that's 12 squares. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, you can you can get into, you can get cool. around that corner. I can think. I go? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Obviously, I'm sat on the back of this here, a bit of whiplash. No, no, I think Pontos fell off. No, no, no. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, okay, so you're on the other side of the wall of fire. Very exciting. Can you now see my lovely wall of fire? I can see a wall of fire. That's well, cool. Yeah, that's how you do fucking magic. That's how you keep everyone out. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll clean it up. Well, the the archer <laughs> the archer and the spellcasters can shoot through it. I don't see a problem. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, on to this mecha zombie here, who is right in the middle of the wall of fire. He is going to skip nimbly like a spring lamb um, out of the flames. And who is he going to smack? I think I will decide using the power of the dice gods. So it will be one for Karurook and two for um, Deep. Oh, he's coming for deep, and that kind of makes sense because uh, uh, you are the closest. He can, in fact, stand where your mighty mayonnaise is, but I am not going to make him stand there. I am going to uh, make him stand here, just for convenience, really. He steps through, away from the withering heat. He regenerates, because that's what he do. And then he is going to attempt to hydraulically slam deep with his big piston arms. There's one. Swing and a miss. Then he goes again. Oh! A 17 and a 20, and he still didn't get you. <laughs> <laughs> Gutted. Um, this one here, he uh, he's finished. He's, uh, he's done. So, who have I got? Oh, that's another dead one. I'm running out of zombies. This is very sad. I'm, I'm, I feel your pain. Mm. Uh, I think we're round to deep. It's deep's turn. I was, I was too busy deleting zombies to actually notice that it's a player's turn. Um, right, go for it. Okay, first the spiritual weapon. Damn it. And then I would like to, I'm not even sure this will work on these, but I would like to turn undead. Oh. So, let me um, go ahead. I am going to go out on a limb and say uh, that these are not uh, these these are not your average zombies. They are not created by supernatural means. They are not necromantic in nature. They are mechanical, so they are not scared of um, uh, not not scared of uh, clericky things. Has that one just moved up? Which one? This one here, by the well. Uh, no, he hasn't moved yet. Okay, sorry, I was I was looking at um, other bits. I just went, oh, okay, he's quite close. Yeah. Oh, you're just you're just waiting for him to get burned, aren't you? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, five, yeah. At least I got into double figures this time. Okay. Well, I summon the light, and the light does nothing. Yeah. The the ratcheting of the cog sounds a little bit like laughter again. <laughs> Kind of, <laughs> no, I'm kind of like <laughs> that doesn't really sound like laughter, does it? I need to work on that. Um, okay. Uh, any any movement? That's probably going to be it, isn't it? Um, next zombie <laughs> robot dude coming forwards. His friend is also doing the same thing. Um. Okay, then we have this one down here, who is going to do some hydronic slams. One for Pontos. Oh, come on, man! 
Oh. And one for the pig. Oh, you spend an afternoon creating uh, super powered cyborg um, super zombies. But and wait, he's within 10 foot of uh, the wall. I thought it was five feet. <laughs> Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Ten feet. Curses. Okay. Um, is it starts his turn next to the wall? It's. Uh, it's. Uh, da -da -da. Ends um. its turn within ten feet. So he mm -hmm. ha he hasn't moved yet. Uh, okay. If he wants. So. If he wants to. <laughs> I feel, like I'm not, I, I feel like he's probably going to get burned anyway. But um, is this wall in, is the wall impenetrable? No, you can move through it. It's oh. just if you end within ten foot or pass through it, you'll take um, the the damage. Okay, and that's twenty nine. Okay, so I mean, does he get a save? He gets a save, uh, doesn't he? Yes, yeah, so DC fifteen Dex. I think it's worth it just to go and smack Gary Rook, isn't it? So, um, yeah. He's going, ah, that's Mug Elf. I'll um, fail my save. <laughs> so, um, do you want me to give you another 5d8? That, that'll do. Um, wow. So, he is most definitely blooded, but... Um, he is going to come up and try and smack Gary Rook. Anyway. Yeah, I, I was on about this one next to Pontos as well because he's within uh, ten of the wall. So, is that our ah, question? Is that wall actually um, passing through this building here, or is that just because I was too lazy to put it in the correct position? I because I, um, it no, it, would, it comes it would, it... from the floor, doesn't it? Yeah, it'd be it'd be up one. It was just previously it was um it, there was a there was there was a gap sort of there, but that now it lines up better. So okay, he's fine. Oh, I was trying to get it to fit. No, it's not going to fit exactly in the spot. But okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah so, so, ima so imagine yeah, that, the one yeah one by Pontos is where fine. the wall ends. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that one is definitely taken twenty nine points of loving. Because <laughs> um, yeah, that's supposed to be a sixty-foot long wall, but it only it 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 only springs out of the floor, doesn't it? It doesn't go through anything else. Um, I can. I, if 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 later on you want to give me in sections, because I I can almost sort of um, move it round or and and stuff. It it doesn't always have to be sixty foot in a straight line. Ah, okay. I what I might do is try and get an animated one of those because that's uh, a bit bland, isn't it? Without without the movement, but. I'll see if still I can cool. find one. It is pretty That's cool, still... though. Yeah. But yeah, well, I'll try and make one in sections. I might even make it so that you can push a button and summon it. That would be nice. Um, okay, what am I doing? I haven't I haven't smacked you yet, have I, Karen Rook? No, not right. yet. Right, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting to you. Here it comes. Working your way up. Go on. So here is one. Oh. Oh. And here we go again. Come on. Come on, son. Sort it out. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, so using my funky, amazing, elfish, roguish um, abilities, um, because I've not used it yet, I'm going to use the, the, the uncanny dodge. Oh, mm -hmm. I'd forgotten about that. Just, just because I've not used it yet. Yeah, so you can have six hit points back. Thank you. Uh, will you or shall I? I, I can do that. Sorry. Give me a second. 69, dude. Um, John said, apropos of nothing. Uh, certainly nothing to do with any PC's hit points. Um, okay, and now it's Kararook's turn. There we go. Cool. Um, obviously, I'm taking... Um, Umbridge to this attack from this zombie that just came through the wall and went straight for me. How very so, uh, dare you, says, like, he says. Yes. Like bloody zombies. 
I had enough of these guys, so obviously I'm going to attack them. Bless no. Um, because there's a wall behind them of fire. Do I get advantage of sneak attack? <laughs> okay. I'm afraid not. <laughs> it's always worth a try. It's always worth a try. Yeah, yeah. That that is the the philosophy of a rogue, isn't it? Oh, shame. Oh, Missed. Uh oh. But, but with my cunning action, I'm going to disengage <laughs> and run behind deep. <laughs> Sorry, deep. I don't like getting hit. Who does? That's me. That's you. Yeah, that's... Uh -huh. Okay, on to char. So, 5, 10, 15. Hey. Stop that. Uh, so just move up there just to get a better idea. And then I'm going to blast this one that came through the the wall. It won't be um, a burning attack. Yep. Down he goes. Let's well, see whether his yep. uh, whether his I, 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 I've called the called it undead fortitude. Mechanically it is mechanical if you follow. Um, yep. Let's see. No, no, he fumbled. So he didn't just not get up; he exploded. Um, <laughs> so that's fifteen, uh, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, uh, thirty. Just so I can see this one round deep. Um, I don't have to go that far. I can only go. Now I'll, I'll go. I'll go to the full thirty, just so. I can see. I don't want to shoot my friend in the back. Obviously, that will make this one a Bernie attack. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's me done. Okay. So maintaining the concentration as a uh, with staff in one end and my uh, wand in the other. Giggity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Uh, in, and, and on that bombshell, on to Pontus. Alright. He's going to hoof. Oh, it's a fumble. Ugh. Let's have a roll on the fumble table. Oh, very exciting. Okay. One one free hydraulic slam coming up. Hmm. Still a bloody miss. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Lux okay, on go. your side. Now True Bacon's been levelled up. He's unstoppable. Mm. Exactly. He doesn't have two HP anymore. Oh, that was only for a little while. <laughs> Oh, he's hanging on by a thread. Oh, so I imagine his head is right now. There it is. Boom! Okay, that, at that point, it was almost a waste of a crit, but... Uh... 33 to hit. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, it's, it's... it's like we're playing Pathfinder, isn't it? What's going on? Oh, he just rolled a 19 on his undead fortitude. Um, <laughs> you know, he, he nearly had it. Okay. Uh, anything else from Pontos? Uh, no, any, I'm good, any movement? Thank you. Are you going to stay there? Actually, no. I, I'm going to move up just about here. Okay. So I'm going to have to move, remove some of these dead zombies and, you know, have a little cry as I realise how few I've got left. Um... Okay, onto this one here. He is going to step forward, thereby moving himself beyond the range of the fire. <laughs> it's only on it's only it's only on one side, and that's why I said it was on the zombie side. So oh, he... okay, right. Mm -hmm. He's not going to move at all then. <laughs> yes, sorry, uh, that somehow didn't sink in, but yes, you are quite right. So we are going to have some regeneration. Honest, Kev. Honest, Kev. 
<laughs> so regeneration, quick slam. Oh, and it's a miss. And another hydraulically powered slam. And it's also a miss. Oh, you rubbish, you zombies. <laughs> They're much, much better than normal zombies. They're just um, uh, not quite as powerful as I would like them to be. Um, on to deep. I oh, know that first attack with the 15 and 16 damage was powerful enough. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. You see awesome, I see scary. That got my attention. <laughs> ah. I mean, John can see my health, so I know how my, um, what's going on. Let's see. Can he... grown. <laughs> Let's see if he can hold on. No, he cannot hold on. He did try. <laughs> I'm going to move up to the wall and be like, nana, nana, boo, boo. <laughs> and why not? Yep, so there's no zombies alive on that side of the wall. And... Here we go. This is this is where it all gets exciting for me. Um, we have one zombie rushing up here. He can go 20 feet. Mm. Okay, he rushes there. And he does some hydraulic slams. One for Pontos. Come on. Ah! One for the pig. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> and the other Rude. one. The other one rushes up. There's no tangible way that I can get a flank without barbecuing myself. And these guys have a a an artificially intelligent sense of self preservation. Um you'd be hard pressed to believe that given their behaviour in this fight, but they're not gonna deliberately stand in the fire. Okay, one miss. And come on, statistically I'm due a crit by now, come on. Oh well we'll take that. Okay, so they they um fail to hit Pontos at all, but they do manage to beat up um, Chew Bacon a little bit. Then we are on to Kariruk. Oh, so I'm going to run my cut back on 35 feet. Here. If, he, if he runs straight through the fire, will it burn him? Uh, just, um... Select once on the fire of the wall. Select uh, by you when you cast a spell. Deals 5d8 damage to each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of the side or inside the wall. The creature that takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time or ends its turn there. So, Karuk's going to get toasty. Okay, well, let's have a DC yeah. 15 dexterity right. save. Well, it, do it doesn't save for that, but it just says uh, when you cast it, it deals... Uh, 5d8 on the creature's end. I think the test is only when um, you first place it. Oh. Oh, so the bur so the the damage is automatic. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm oh. just sort of just reading it now. I mean, it's so. Uh... The wall is opaque. When the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. On and then. The yeah. Um, yeah, when you cast this spell, it deals five D eight damage to each creature that ends its turn within ten feet of that side of the wall or inside the wall. The creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. The other side of the wall deals no damage. Okay, so um Okay, nineteen damage for for uh Kararook, which is uh and <laughs> because I'm a s s funky sneaky rogue with a vision. Can I jump if, over the wall? If it's twenty foot high and evasion's only for deck save. I tell you what though. You you can shrug <laughs> off that damage, so <laughs> So you might be alright. Uh 
Okay, so now you are on the other side of the wall and a little bit burnt. <laughs> yeah. uh, what so would you like to do? Walking. So the steam's coming off my armor and I've got bloody fire. And um, and obviously, when I'm running, I'm pulling out my other off with my off hand. I'm pulling my other dagger just in case. But I'm going to use my ice mm-hmm. dagger first. Uh, no blast, no, no bane. I'm guessing uh, I've got advantage because I'm flanking. You, you have advantage from your flanking. Awesome. And I've got sneak attack. Boom, 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 boom. Go on. Sweet. That's pretty good. So he is uh, still, well, he's not alive. Hasn't been for some time, but he is still um, animate, shall we say. With Venom Fang on my offhand, can I attack with that as well? When did you draw that? You did say you were drawing it, though, didn't you? Ah, uh, all right then, go on. I don't. I, if you don't want me to, that's fine. Um, no, that's fine because I think you did say you were drawing it. Um, I have, I have got some people who I play with who are uh, a, a little bit. Um, uh, a little bit quiet when it comes to actually telling me they're drawing us an offhand weapon, mm. and and then I have to say no, no. Have we have to know that it's in your hand, otherwise you can't use it. <laughs> cool. um, but yes, if you do have it, uh, which I think you did say that you have. Yeah, Car- he did say he was drawing his offhand weapon. Yeah, yeah. So you can give him the offhand attack, and that's no, there's no um, sneak attack advantage uh, for sneak that. Sneak attack answer. is only once around, but you do have advantage from the flank, so that's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, I think Pontus just fell off the pig. Oh, sorry. I hit my <laughs> arrow keys. <laughs> I was just wondering, what what's the canon reason? Maybe you were do- uh, you were dodging the uh, the <laughs> ice shards or something. His, his oiled physique slips off the bod off the pig. <laughs> okay. So I have some bad news and some worse news. Um <laughs> Uh, the immune bad news poison. is that it's immune to poison. Uh, the worst news wow. is that you only rolled one for your damage, and uh, so he is—he's uh, still all right. He is bloodied, but he is still going. <laughs> cool. And there's still steam coming off my jerk and my leather. So that'd be pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was Camera Rook. We're now on to Char. Yeah, um, see, seeing Carrick just jump through that, it's like, the guy's an idiot, and I just, <laughs> I just sweep, sweep down with my staff and dis- and dispel the wall. Some see idiot, some see heroic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And uh, the one that is down the side of uh, Pontos and um, Chewbacca is going to get some love. And the first one is going to be a little bit singy. And then we'll do another one. Go through all of those. So that's a, a cheeky little 17 points of damage on him. Nice. Not bad at all. Oh, you are no longer concentrating. Uh, I just realised, Carry Rook is blurred. We completely forgot that you were blurred. I completely forgot you were blurred. Well, most of the damage was from um, um, from himself jumping through that fire, rather than um, yeah. I don't think anyone's I don't think anyone's managed to hit you anyway, have they? So I don't think there would be any need to um, change that. Okay, so I will now try to remember that you are in fact blurred. I need a token for uh, a token marker for blur so that I remember. <laughs> um, okay, so Char has done his bit. We're now onto Pontos. Uh, what's Pontos going to do? All manner of wonderful things, no doubt. Uh, I'm going to hoof the guy. Oh, mm, yeah, hoof the guy in front. Oh, it's a bloody hit as well. Okay, so he, uh, barring a miracle, well, what's the opposite of a miracle? Okay, he, whatever it is, he doesn't get up again. 
he gets kicked in the back of the head by a pig and falls down face first in front of Kararuk. Oh dear. Okay, well that was pretty easy. Famous last words. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Oh, he's not actually dead. Oh. That is just uh, my terrible coding, and it's still detecting death when there is none. Damn it. Technically, he's dead. Yes, that's true. (laughs) Yeah, every time I think I fix the flaming great axe, um, (laughs) something else comes up. I should probably make Ah. it a bit less complicated. So, if he's not dead... It's him again. Dead, yeah. I He's say, quiet, uh, so. actually, with Undead Fortitude, you you don't even get to roll it when it's a crit. Um, so, he he doesn't get up. Oh, that's so, a shame. Yeah, I know. It's you know, I was I was I was thinking maybe one more round, one more chance to hit them, <laughs> one more chance to do them some damage, and and no, Protoss is not even broken a sweat. Didn't break his skin once. <laughs> So when oh. does the fight start? Oh. <laughs> oh. Carrick, in a uh, sweating a little bit. Well, he looks a bit warm anyway. Yeah, I was going to say when, when Pontos says, "When does the fight begin?" Um, <laughs> I was going to say that's when. That's when. What have I got in my list here? What can I spawn in? <laughs> what can I suddenly <laughs> drop on his head to ruin everything? <laughs> Oh, dun, dun, dun. Then a giant on. evil flail snail arrived <laughs> and killed everybody. <laughs> cool. Right there we go. So you have uh, you have defeated the mecha zombies that were attacking you. Well done. The fight is over. Why? Did, why didn't you jump through that carrick? Why didn't you just wait for a moment? I could have I dismissed the fire. Well, to be fair, when I was running up to the wall, I wasn't getting any warmer. It was only when I went through it that the heat started to build up. Yeah, I I can control it. It was it was trying to dissuade the zombies from swarming us. You know, I, I like to be heroic sometimes. And that's that's not heroic. That's moronic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll remember that next time you need help. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> uh, idiots okay he means that uh, <laughs> right, uh, I, um, I'm going to systematically just go around and um, zap all of these uh, zombies just to try and make sure that no no, no pacemakers are um, uh, um, working so that's, that's going to be my next minute or two just going around um, just doing that uh, zapping them all. Oh, I've just realised. <gasps> I didn't notice that until now. But I can't read it. I can't read it because if I push the if I if I push the thing, then it will uh, mess up the screen. So I'm going to have to look at that on my phone. So and everyone will have to guess what I'm talking about. And is that going to do the tango song? Dun, 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 no, dun, dun, no, it's the conga. The, um, <laughs> the conga. That's it. No, certainly not. Uh, you know the um, ah, the squirrel or chipmunk? Surprise chipmunk. It kind of turns around and looks yes. dramatic chipmunk. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And, uh, and there's variant variations on it where, where sometimes it, it kind of goes dun, 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 and then he fires the, he says, I'm a fire and my laser, which is, you know, a combination of memes too rich to live. But... <laughs> Obviously, I've not seen that. We're going to have to look for it. Yeah. And there's, oh, there's, oh, I love the one also. There's one with the lightsaber as well. That's that's a good one. Um, here we go. Right, I'm pushing the button, and then I am going to click on the notification to see what it is. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm going to share that. So. Um, 
sure so, what where who. Um, right. So, uh, bum 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 bum. Um, Chris sent me a message a bit earlier saying my whisperer is no longer whispery, and I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, because yeah. uh, because it's my chat that appears on the uh, on the OBS overlay, it means that any secret messages going to or from are in fact visible which i think is quite nice for um for anybody if they actually watched it mm -hmm. um but uh it leaves it leaves um it leaves you guys worrying whether your whispers have been seen so i wonder i wonder if there's i don't think there's any way that i can block that from discord but you could have just promised not to look because it's going to be pretty small on most of your screens. I couldn't read any of the writing in that chat. So anyway. I, I can't I can't see anything during play or anything anyway. But uh, yeah, is anyone else doing anything? Uh, like I said, I'm just going around um, zapping these, just making sure they don't get up and no, no random crow or rat or squirrel suddenly gets mechanized. I'll do another thaumaturgy announcement just saying, the threat has been neutralized. You're saved. Come and we shall feed and clothe you. <laughs> Will we? <laughs> so, your budget. <laughs> um, at, at the moment, um, <clears throat> there are no takers, but, you know, there, there, there may be in, uh, in, in time to come. Um, Char no, uh, d is very sensible in what he does. He uh, he goes and finishes off these uh, mechanized creatures because they are um, true to form, repairing themselves as as you watch. Um, uh. Not none of them have become repaired enough to actually stand up yet, though. Luckily, um, so I am just going to pile these guys up here so that I can count them more easily for XP purposes later on. Although I'm sort of heading towards, uh, yeah. Let's. We better play that sound effect again. I know how everyone likes it. Certainly not overused at all. Oh, love it. It's cool. So, how are we doing for time? Oh, it is. If only that fight had lasted a few minutes longer. Um. <laughs> I can punch Char. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, so... uh... oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no. After you. I was going to say, I'll ritual cast detect magic and start searching through the buildings. Oh, that's a good idea. I could use the random treasure tables to generate some stuff. And then... Um, how How wrong can that go? <laughs> no, I do enjoy using the random treasure tables. Well, uh, at the same time as I got that staff of fire, that used the random treasure table gave us the staff of striking, and no, no one wants to actually that's melee orientated wants to use it. So, yeah, it's it's a plus three weapon. It's you know, it's, it's actually a, it's quite. A plus th with with charges to do additional force damage, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there a is there a card for that? I'll take a look at it. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I, hold on, let me make it visible for How you. How many it's weapons like... have you got, Deep? Mm -hmm. <laughs> one man arsenal. Hey, you were just complaining that nobody wants this. Yeah, well, I was I was, I was offering it to uh, Boren. He went, oh, um, "It's not as good as my uh, Ring of the Ram." Yeah, I think. Yeah. Um. I think he needs to take a closer look because it is actually much better than the Ring of the Ram, isn't it? I think. Um, but yes, it is. Yeah, ten charges. Hit with a melee attack using it, you can expend up to three charges for each charge you expend. The target takes an extra d6 force damage. So, uh, what is its base damage, or does it not it's, have a base it's damage? D, it's d6 or d8 if you two handed with a quarter staff. Oh, it's a staff, right? Yeah. So. Potentially, you could do D8 oh. plus 3D6 damage, plus, plus 3. Plus strength. Oh, plus strength, plus 3. And you get plus 3 oh, to attack. Yeah. Or in doesn't want it. 
because it's um I can sell some of my other weapons. But uh, that, that's, that's just a, a by the by more than anything. <laughs> so these creatures here are uh well I have uh, the, the CR the CR that I have given them is uh, not exceedingly high. So I am going to uh, roll off the treasure <laughs> table a few times. There's one, two, gold, three, four, silver, five, six, seven, um, eight. Ah, uh, is that a fifteen? Uh, twelve, Nine. and then there's a fifteen copper. Oh, electrum! Oh, Jesus! There we go. So. There's a bit of cash for you. This may come in the form of um, uh, um, metals recovered from the the bodies of dead zo of, of mechanical zombies, rather than because gold is a gold is a conductor, isn't it? And so is copper. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not sure about electrum. I mean, it's called electrum, isn't it? So maybe I don't know if it has any. Any use for electricity? Is it? It's an alloy, isn't it? So I don't know. Anyway, no, no clue, no clue whatsoever. Um, so, um, yeah. What, what would Borin say if he was here? That was um, easy. I wish um, I didn't break a sweat. Yeah, and he he might say something about um, uh, the foolishness of leaping through walls of fire to carry Rook. Um, so, well, uh, imagine he said something cool and. Uh, uh, along those lines, and um, and we'll and we'll cover that. Uh, Fira is uh, very pleased that you have um, defeated these zombies. Um, she seems to think that uh, survivors may be hiding uh, nearby, um, or possibly in basements or, or, or cellars and that sort of thing. So. She plans to go and start looking for people who have survived the destruction of the town. But okay. how successful oh, she God. is, uh, how successful she is, may <clears throat> have to wait until next week. Because yeah. um, I actually expected that battle to last a bit longer. So you guys have actually uh, beaten the zombies a bit slightly ahead of my uh, slightly ahead of my schedule, which is. Usually it no. goes the other way. Usually <laughs> I think, ah, this fight will be over halfway through the session and then and then it ends up lasting a session and a half and you're like oh okay i really miscalculated that one um dice can be fickle things indeed cool <coughs> but uh no, that that was interesting yeah i mean I, I i'm just hoping at the moment if we can um for char if we can find somewhere to at least sit down to get a drink and patch his wounds up and have a short rest to get something or ideally a, a, a long rest, but that's by the by, really. You can certainly short rest immediately if you want to. Yeah, I think I will, and I will uh, probably um, have a couple of healing dice as well. So... Um, 16... 27, and one more, we'll do one more. Oh, hello. 27, let's go. That count. was, uh, that was good effort. Yeah. Uh, what's my maximum now, so... Combat. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my, that's me, Max. And I'm going to do pretty much the same. And that gets my spell slots back, at least. How do I th uh, hit dice is on your character yeah, sheet, yeah. or there is in fact a uh, a short rest button in the token actions number ten, and that will ten. even add your hit points for you. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, fair enough. I, I, I that, that, is that a new button because I can't remember seeing that before. Uh, it's been there a little while. I, I ah, okay. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a handy one to remember. Yeah, in in theory, it won't let you roll hit die that you haven't got as well. Mm -hmm. uh, which is why uh, you must... Well, the long rest button restores uh, hit die as well. So, uh, mm -hmm. 
So oh, that, that should that's... be kind of sewn up. That should work. But yeah, sit, sitting down, uh, patch myself up, and have, having a smoke on one of my cigars that just uh, feels a bit better. I'm going over to our guest, um, just because I don't trust her, Green. Just because she's a drow, or half drow. Yeah, so, oh, always... oh, hello. Um, can I can I help you? Not really. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I thought you'd come over to talk to me. No, uh, well, you could tell me about, about your drow heritage and where that came from. Well... Um, like, like I said before, my, my mother came from the Underdark, and, uh, and my father didn't. Um, it meant I had uh, a, a, a more dramatic childhood than, uh, than many half-elves, uh, since Drow are so distrusted. Um, With good reason, may I add. They it slaughtered my village. And, uh, yeah, yes, keeping I'm... a close eye on you. I'm sorry to hear about what what Drow did, but um, I, it, I didn't do it. It wasn't it wasn't me. It wasn't my family. Um, I I don't know if you know much about the the Drow pantheon. Uh, many of many of the Drow worship the goddess Lolth, um, who is the, uh, the 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 goddess of spiders. Um, but my mother um, uh, refused. Um, re refused the worship of uh, of Lolth, and uh, and became a follower of of a of a different drow goddess, a a good drow goddess. There are not very many of them, but at least one exists. Um, if only the DM could actually remember the name of the good <laughs> drow goddess, um, it'll come to me. Um, but there is, in fact, a good drow goddess that. Um, it is, I think, Elistry. Is that right? Oh, it's been a long time since I've uh, read up on Elven Pantheon. Um, I'm not a avant Elven fan. So she, yeah, she tells you that she is, uh, she is the daughter, uh, the daughter of a human, and her mother was a worshipper of. That word there, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, who was the goddess of beauty, dance, song, freedom, moonlight, sword work and hunting. So actually a, uh, a good goddess of the drow that does not advocate um, human sacrifice. Well, uh, uh, not just humans, but, you know, doesn't advocate sacrifice. Um, I think uh, I've pretty much run out of things for you to do. So um, I... I suggest we call it there, and if we want to make up for a bit of lost time for, excuse me, the last session where we lost about 40 minutes to technical troubles, we can go a bit longer on on a day when I've actually got more for you to do. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Happy New Year again. And yeah. uh, I look forward to catching you all again next week. Yeah, no worries. Thanks Have very a much. great weekend, and uh, I like the the mech zombies. They're pretty cool. Oh, glad you enjoyed it. Cheers. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks. Sorry. Great weekend, folks. Take it easy. Yeah, no yeah. worries. It's uh, this is going to be interesting where it goes all with the potential mechanist angle. That that's very cool, and uh, all this gothic steampunk. That's very fun. So, yeah, I'm I'm curious to see where you. Uh, where you're heading with this, so looking forward to it. Yeah. Cool. Right. See you next time. <laughs> no worries. You take it all easy. Bye.